to it than what, what was put in the paper myself like especially after talking to you so you're a mother of five uh, so what made you take up boxing to be honest it's all it's in my actual it's in my family like i said my cousin francis benny is um he was a well-known amateur um obviously a woman called glenn sort of was like um sort of got involved with professionals and stuff and i wanted to do it as a young age but like obviously i got pregnant and Goes out the window when you have kids, I suppose. It, yeah, it's always well, been there, isn't it? That would happen. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's always been there. I just, I suppose I had kids, and then obviously, you know, I had that lifestyle where I've had a lot, a lot of help to help me get to where I wanted to be. And stuff. Life got in the way, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, how old were you when you actually took it up as, you know, what, I, I could do something with this when you took up like, the boxing? Uh, I started at 29. Okay. Um, obviously, I started at Fitness Factory, uh, you know, not even to fight, just box exercise and stuff like that. And then, um, obviously, I met a girl called Bav, Kirsty Bavington. Yeah, professional boxer. Professional boxer. And obviously, I asked her if she would basically take me on and train me and stuff. So, it started from then, to be honest. And then, you know, she started helping me. And, you know, she basically said to me from training me, you know, I reckon you'd be good actually fighting in a ring and stuff. You know? All right. So Bav started you off, yeah. yeah right. And what a way to start. You know yeah, I mean, you're yeah. a professional trainer who's she was in her youth stage of. She started from young, didn't she? So, yeah, but I mean, yeah. that in 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 a professional stance, she was she was in 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 a few fights in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, in a pros. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? If you shot two, great, three fights in. Great it? way, yeah. great way to learn. The art, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, because she's learning at that level, and she, she can pass you on at that level, yeah, so it's she really does. good. Um, but from there, there on in, when you went into the white collar, obviously, Bav can't be anything to do with that then. Nah, yeah? um, Bav left obviously Fitness Factory and obviously chose to go somewhere else, and then obviously, um, I Pete Leachman um, brought me to Aycox Green Gym, and then obviously I met my coach Anthony Callan. You know, and I've been with him ever since. So, so what was what was the transition did um, from just, going from Fitness Factory to Aycox Grey? Because obviously, Bav, like you said, obviously she can't really she can try me, but she can't necessarily be in the white collar. Yeah, she can't be in the thing. To be, so, yeah. obviously, Pete asked me, you know, are you going to keep it up, sort of thing, and I was just like, yeah, I want to do it and stuff like that. So he said, you know, I've got a good gym where you can go and carry on and stuff. So obviously, I went to Aycox Grey, met Craig, and and. Um, started off with the women like um, classes oh, and stuff like that. Classes, yeah, yeah, started with the female classes, and then obviously I asked Aunt then if he'll start training me one to one and come up like, basically my personal trainer. So yeah, and then he ended up being my coach. <laughs> right. So how how have you found it? How did you find the training for your first fight? Because you've only had one fight. Haven't yeah, you? I've only had the one fight. Um, obviously Aunt could answer that as well, but obviously moaning, groaning, and stuff. But it was hard. But you know, obviously, I was 13 so nearly when I started, and obviously, I, I, I lost all my weight in Aycox Green down to Ant, so yeah, it tells cool. you it all. Like, you know, it was, it was hard. I saw the couple of it was hard, man. Uh, your first fight was at Prism on the Showdown show. Yeah. Um, who, who did you fight? A uh, girl called Katie. And uh, how many fights did I she have? She had three fights, two wins, one loss. So. You weren't were going in there against someone who had a negative result. result nah, someone I mean, who, to be Two honest, and one, that's not bad. That's not bad. Was, yeah. So, how did you find it? Hey, uh, then let's go through it, like So, you're in the back, yeah? Yeah. You're getting your wraps on or getting your hands taped yeah, or whatever yeah. you were doing, right? How were you feeling then? The adrenaline, obviously, the adrenaline started coming when... Yeah, when I first got there, I didn't, I didn't feel really nothing. I was just still like, yeah, yeah, it's, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do it, blah, blah, blah. But 
Then when people started going into the actual ring, the adrenaline started coming. I started basically telling my coach, I think I need the toilet, like, <laughs> 20, 30 times. Um, and then obviously, you know, when your name gets called and then you're walking into that ring and... To be honest, the adrenaline was going until I got in the ring. And then when I got in the ring, I just felt like, that's it, it's mine, I'm having this. That, that was it. Oh, okay. And then, that's the yeah. right mentality. Yeah. Right, so... I was shook until I got into the ring, basically. <laughs> so, what I want to know is, bell rings, it's me in the centre. The first, you throw, she throws. What was it like there? Because right? you, can, you, can, you can get hit in, sparring. To be honest, I won every for every round, you know, yeah. every three rounds. Well, so. <laughs> when, you, when you got hit, how, how did that make you feel? Like, do you know what I mean? It made me want to hit her ten times harder. So. Okay, so you, you got adrenaline rush out of Yeah, I, I can't. Looking back, my first fight, obviously, I reckon when I was stepping back, I could, I could have done a lot more. Yeah. In, when, you, when you look back on something, you say, wow, oh, that's wrong, or this. Like, I could have done a lot more than what I did, sort of thing. So, obviously, in my next fights, you know, they're going to be completely different. Well, so. you were supposed to fight, but... The, uh, April the 4th, I was meant to the fight. Virus, um, the virus stopped that. Yeah. That was on the showdown show as well. It was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what, you still, you know, still young enough to have enough and get, yeah, get I stop it, I'm still going. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But, um, so when you finished the fight, right, it was all over. How did you feel after that? What do you mean, after I got told I won or after the fight? Oh, yeah, so you won it, you won it, you come out the ring, What's you know that? what I mean? I think I cried. Did you? Yeah, I think <laughs> I cried, to be honest. I think it was more of the fact of... My family come running up to me and, you know, proud of me, you know, obviously my coach, you know, you've done it well, you know. I think it was just everyone congratulating me and I just, even though, like, how can I put it chat, like, I didn't, I didn't believe in myself still, do you know what I mean? I still fought, I went. Right, so you were fighting for one, fourth of April. Yeah. Right, that didn't happen. Um, how did that make you feel when, when just, you know what, no was, one's fault, pandemic. I was, I was, done. I was ready for it, like. I worked my ass off for this fight. Like, I was coming out a winner, trust me. Like, I trained probably four or five times a week, three with obviously Ant and then two at um, Ironworks and I was ready for this. And then obviously Corona come up and stuff like that. And then when the day actually come and it come up on my feeds and stuff, yeah, like, I was, was upset, man. I was proper down, like I cried. I think I actually bought a bottle of oil. Nothing to trade for, nah, for, I was, for a good I was while. So, Say September, um, November. Yeah. Uh, th between September or October, there'll be another uh, a show on, right? Yeah. You, you're gonna go for the showdown. Yeah, right? I'm gonna basically have another two fights and hopefully win them and go for the first title on the showdown. First, it'll be the first female title. First female, yeah, yeah. So. Well, what weight are you? Um, I will be fighting at ten three. Ten three. So that's well, well Walter. Walter, yeah, 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 Walter. Oh, I just I've got a couple of welters in the back there. You want to go? <laughs> oh, Ben's a welter. <laughs> well, he's been there, come down and have a few spars, so yeah. But, um, yeah, no, do you know what? Like, you, I've, I have followed your story, right? And I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a lot of funny shit as well, like, because you, 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 you did have, you had meltdown. But what I was surprised about, well, when I did find out like this, it kind of explained a lot about you. Is that like you, you suffer from ADHD? Yeah, and well, you've been diagnosed with I got ADHD. Diagnosed, um, basically, from the age of 22, I got diagnosed with ADHD, autism. Um, so, you know, for the whole years of my life, childhood, I just got told, like, you know, I'm a problem child, basically. Naughty kid. Naughty kid and, and things like that. So, when I was 22, um, got diagnosed with that. Um, obviously, they put you on medication and things. And what, what were you on? I was on uh, Medicanet. Um, which obviously it's quite a high strong yeah, yeah, that's a good one, nice. so yeah um, but it didn't help it sort of just made you sort of stone and stuff like that yeah, so many connects like it's one it's like a speed takes 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 the edge off the madness the madness of yeah. ADHD you know what I mean all, all work with kids in care so many connects you know I mean? I, I've come from I, care as well. Like I, was I, I know quite a lot about yeah. the, the, the ADHD and the spectrum. I've got a son who's on the spectrum as well, but he, he's, a, he's a Spurgist rather than yeah, ADHD. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I can understand. And getting diagnosed at 22 must be so frustrating. You know yeah, what I mean? Because no one helped me, any. Well, from my childhood, so. Well, like you said, you when you were growing up, 
you would have just been classed as a, a disruptive kid, a naughty kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. No one really knew what ADHD was. It's, n it, it's been around a long time, but not many doctors kind of went, yeah, this, yeah, she's got it. Yeah, this, yeah. this, that and the other. So you, you were quite lucky at, at 22 to be diagnosed. It's because I was fighting for it, that's in the end. I, well, I, I yeah. knew there was something wrong with me. Uh, uh, some of you, your kids have got uh, the same My traits. eldest, Josh, has got autism, um, child has got ADHD, and my fourth child, Leighton, has got uh, autism, ADHD, and uh, we think now he's got uh, Asperger's. Asperger's. So... Uh, do you know what, right? That... Come on. <laughs> Seriously, right, because, like, a mum of five, doing it on your own, I, well, I don't know whether you're doing it on your own. Just me, I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah. But look, you're doing it on your own, right? You picked up boxing now, right? So that's going to help you. Because I think, I always say to the um, people like, I work, who I work with, get the kid into boxing because yeah. it, it turns your focus to something and you focus on something and you learn discipline, respect. There's all these facets of boxing that that's no one respects, no, yeah. no one understands. You know what I mean? Except unless you, unless if you're like in boxing. getting like basically, look, look, my son, like my fourth child, like Leighton. People look at him and they're, they're saying stuff to him what I used to get told, oh, he's just a problem child, he's naughty and this and he's that. It's not, it's not like naughtiness, it's just this fault. It's behaviour, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's, 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 I always say in kids that I work with, my own son, you know what I mean? My, my own son's kind of coming out the other end of it now. He, he got statemented when he was 12, I think, right? Yeah. And ever since then, He's had the, the help and everything. He's never, he's not, never been medicated, right? But he's c coming out of the other end. He's seventeen now, and he seems to be able to control because he was anger. His one was anger. Yeah, that's normal. And he was classed as a normal kid. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you know what? I got to commend you for you know, you got five kids holding it down, and what's his name? Been able to like do something like boxing. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's a committed sport. You can't. Saying, you don't I, play boxing. That's what I said. Like I say, I say to anybody, boxing, especially if you've got a mental health issue, it helps you, man. Yeah, hit a bag. It you helps you. Take, take, take you away from everything. I go home like, from like nights of my sessions and that with my coach, and I tell you, I feel relief. Like I wake up the next morning, I'm like, like all groggy, or I just feel like, like yeah, yeah. It's nice, man. It takes a weight off your shoulder. Yeah, I would, I, I would say that that. Well, any sport would be good for mental health, yeah. but boxing, because of the focus you have to do, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it, I, I think it's one of the best the best things for anyone who's got it's any good issues. because you're getting told what to do, and obviously, I don't like being told what to do. Yeah, so. Well, so, so you learn discipline, yeah. right? You've also got to learn respect, because whoever is in yeah, the is. other corner to you, right, at the end of the day, they might be a mug. Or they might be yeah, the best boxer yeah, in the yeah. world. Now you've got to hope they respect you, that if they are on another level, that they don't put it on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? If it's a spa, if it's a boxing match, it's another thing. But yeah. th these are the things that people people just think, oh, you're a boxer, you just, nah, just want to smash a people. Boxing. I, no. I can't even remember the last time I had a fight outside the ring because I can't be asked. That's This is what I, like many years ago, I was known as the fighter, I, you know, on the street, oh yes, Danielle can fight this and but it's if someone put it on to me now outside, like, so I don't think I'd actually I'll just put it on I can't be bothered. It, it, listen, I, do you know what I, even when I was doing the door I was like, mate, you just don't wanna do you just stop. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I just can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. And I'd I'd listen to him for hours mm. talking bollocks to him, mate, rather than you know what I mean, give him a slap because I couldn't see the point in it, you know what I mean? But like, you know, what I'm saying is like with, with the ADHD and all that, like and all the stuff, like you know what I mean. Well, tw I'm 28, I got diagnosed with bipolar as well, so I've got obviously ADHD with bipolar. So well, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What a catch, eh, lads? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like having five kids and that, like you're only 30, so you're still young. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and uh, you must, you must like. You know, I've been wanting to go out and have a, you know, a tear, a lot of tear, but I, I, I have a right, rare, well, you know yeah, what I mean? Obviously, I, I had kids young, so I never really lived that 20 life, you know, 18 pregnant, 21 pregnant, so, you know, I never regret them, do you know what I mean? I, I, I wanted to have kids young sort of thing, but now I've reached the, the 30 age, it's like, you know, 30, 30 sort of thing, you want to go out there and... But, 
Like, like, like we've, we've talked about, like, up, up camera, like, five kids must put a lot of blokes off. The, yeah, that's what I that's what I think anyway. Like, it, it's not even it puts, it puts a lot of blokes off, it puts me, you know, you've got to pick the right bloke to yeah, have around your kids. You, you, yeah, you, I'm quite, you know. Very true. I, you know, I've been through domestic violence twice with both of my kids' dads, and, you know, I don't want to sort of be around that same circle of men and stuff like that, you know. I'm, I'm scared to be in a relationship just in case it fucks up for me again or for the kids and that, so. Oh, do you know what? I can absolutely understand where you're coming yeah. from. You know what I mean? Domestic violence is, is what, you know, it is what it is like and it's it shouldn't happen. That's you know sort I mean? of one of them, yeah. That's the reason should, why I've come into boxing as well. Like, it, should, so. it shouldn't happen, but it does happen. But it, when you've got five kids, it's going to be terrible, right? And if you've been in that situation, right, you are going to be very aware of what kind of geezer you, uh, you, you can sort of spot them, you know, for being caught. And you can, you know, you can sort of, you just, you just know what I don't know what it is now with me. I just, if a guy messages me, it's sort of from the certain messages that are, uh, you know, I only be really, it's mad. I only really reply to people now if it's anything to do with my boxing, not my career. If it's someone like, yeah, what you're saying, it's sort of. Yeah. See so you later, like, Well, but this is the thing, though, is that you, like, where you were, say, two years ago, two two years yeah. ago, that set circle of friends. Yeah. I guarantee, yeah, right? Gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure you've got friends that you've kept, yeah. But most of them who were giving out negative vibes yeah, towards yeah, or yeah. sending you down negative, yeah, yeah. you've moved on and now yeah. you've got a new circle of friends yeah. who are all sharing the same interest, yeah. boxing, yeah. you know what I mean? So, if they're all sharing that kind of interest, there's going to be respect, there's going to be discipline, focus, yeah. you know what I mean? Because, yeah. But don't get me wrong, you still get the arseholes in boxing, don't yeah, do not get do, me wrong, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, I think there's, a lot, there's more males that are bitches in boxing <laughs> than yeah. there actually is in like, in women? Oh, do you, well, do you know what, right? And this is just, <laughs> I, I think I've said this in interviews before. When the first time I saw female boxing, right, mm -hmm. I was not a fan at all. Oh. I, I was in an amateur fight, it was, about, it was a good few years ago, two girls, yeah? Yeah. Right? Same weight, one was, one was quite big, but, but small. Yeah. The other one was tall and slim. The tall and slim one has took this girl's face off in 30 seconds and stopped the fight. When was this? This was, this was at the Irish Centre. It was, I, I, was, I was just like, oh yeah. my God, this is horrendous. You, oh, I could not get my hair around. It's the only thing, what colour in it? Like, it well, this was, this was an amateur fight. It was an amateur. It was an amateur yeah. fight. I was going, nah, this, this shouldn't happen. And then I saw my first white colour fight with two girls. And they were very, very technical. And when I seen, when I started doing the BB column and it was the professional girls, Right, like uh, Rachel Ball, mm. uh, Kirsty Babington, mm. their technique is in, it, to a lot of professional mailboxes is superior yeah, in my opi in my opinion. And I've said that before. Like Rachel Ball's technique is unbelievable, and she's a kickboxer. You know what I mean? Mm. But she's learnt the craft. Because I am all in all, I'm not a brawler, I'm a boxer. Yeah, so yeah. I like the noble art, you know what I mean? I believe in the noble art. I don't believe in just going there and smashing someone's face in. I believe yeah. in taking them apart. And in the female um, boxing, I've seen the technique, and it's a lot more about technique than actual brutish boxing, you know what I mean? Mm. And uh, I, I have had to put my hands up and go, do you know what? Females so you can work. Work. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm big enough to uh, do that. So, 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 so we're looking November, right? So you're looking to have one then and then jump on the next show, don't Jump on the next show, yeah. Hopefully, if I win them, I'll get the title, the title for the first woman on there. So. Oh, that would be, that'd be great for you, you know what I mean? It'd be a great achievement for you. First female showdown yeah. promotion for it, um, champion. You know what I mean? And like prove that, you know what? You can have five kids, you can still do this, you know what I mean? Because you've got to be, a, you know what I mean? Females have got to look at, at you and not like hate hate you. you know what that's, I mean? what I'm, you get... that's what I'm finding at the minute. Not like I'm finding a lot of ne you know negative, and it is a lot of girls that are being negative towards me. I don't know why because I'm out there to show them. Um, listen, if you know I've got mental health issues, five kids, and I am a single mum and do all on my own, 
I'm out there to show you, yo, you lot can do it. I'm not there yeah. to say, hey, look at me. You know, I want them to look at me and think, message me or, oh, you know, help us get, you know, help them get somewhere or... Well, that's it. Well, you know what, Roy? You're doing something that a lot of females might not be able to do and that might be the way they're doing it. But you're yeah, an inspiration course, yeah. that... Okay, maybe you can't box, like the, the girls that are watching, you can't box, but you could you could take up another sport, you could yeah. do something else. I used else. to like football as well, so... There you go. So, Me and football and I don't go. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but that, that's the thing, I think that you've been an inspiration to a lot of females mm. and you should be an inspiration. I've had dads message, message me and stuff as well, saying like, when they read my story and stuff and said, you know, it's, it, it, you know, they're scared for their daughters and things like that, and you know, I would I sort of tell them how to know and things like that. I've had some good positive messages. Well, that, that's good because like, so, you deserve some positive stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's, there's no. I, I'm not one of these people. If I can't say something nice, I just don't bother saying anything at all. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Cause, I ain't got a filter on my mouth, so... <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a filter. It, 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 it's literally... Oh, I won't, say, I won't yeah. say anything. Okay. If someone... You don't want to get me started, you, might, you, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, you know what I mean? That's the way I am. It's like, just... You know, I, I try and find a positive... And even if there's a negative, I try and find a positive in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the best best way to be. And as the way I've got through... Because I've had my ups and downs, you know what I mean? It's the way I've got through one, 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 one section at a time, you know what I mean? Well, I've been through ups and downs with my coach at Icox Green as well, so we've all been there. Now, but I saw, you know, as long as, obviously, like I said, I said to you before, my coach come, as long as like, I've got, I don't think I could have a different coach, you know what I mean? Like, in my boxing, it feels like if I ain't got hands, like... You're doing your corner. Yeah, like, training. just my duck corner and training, like, I don't feel like... Anyone else can fit that match. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously, my footwork, you know, is quality, and that's because of Ant. My weight loss, that's because of Ant. You know, winning my first fight, that's because I sat, I listened to, to Ant. So, yeah, mate. Yeah, that's brilliant. And, like, you know what? Even if it goes wrong, right? You should try and stay with the people that are loyal to you. That, yeah, of course, honestly, yeah. that's, that's something like. I got screen is like another family. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it is it's like a second home. You walk in there and it's just you know, even the lads in there, the amateur lads, you know, they all find me funny and <laughs> it is it's a, it's my second home and I have lost from it, man. That's good, and, and that's good like I've been to, I've been down to Acock Screen, um yeah. and interviewed uh some of the pros down there at the time, they're not, they're not there anymore. Just Brad, Brad's there, they aren't. Brad Thomas is yeah, there. Yeah, Brad's still there, yeah. I think but he does some sessions and that. Yeah, he yeah, does some yeah, strength, yeah. strength and conditioning. But like, uh, he's a good lad as well, yeah. I mean, I've talked mm -hmm. to Craig, he's a good lad. Um, but have you got anything to say, right, to all the people that follow you on social media, on whatever genre they do? To so all my oh. fans out there who follow me, and basically support me and, you know, give me that good vibe. Obviously, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing in the boxing and hope that everything that I am doing is showing a lot of us single parents out there that, you know, you can achieve to do something if you really want to do it and there is help, that help out there. Obviously, my coach and, you know, I respect everything that you do for me and, you know, I'm going to listen to you when I get back in the gym and not moan as much. So, and, um, yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. Hey, where about you? Daniel, Benny, Dan. Yeah. Well, what a great chat with uh, Daniel today. Um, and a, a great addition to the uh, unlicensed scene. Uh, she's only had one fight. Uh, I've watched her on social media have her ups and downs and have her meltdowns and whatever. Uh, but her boxing has got better and better. Um, trailer Anthony seems to be doing a good job. Uh, she had a good footing starting with um, Kirsty Babington with the, the boxer size and um, strength and fitness and all that, strength and conditioning. Uh, she's now being taught at Acox Green Gym. Um, she's learning her art well. She's got very decent footwork, uh, you know, left handed, so she's always going to be awkward. Um, yeah, she's looking the part. Some good combinations on the pads as well today. Uh, I was well impressed. Uh, 
she's got diagnosed with ADHD, uh, she's got five kids, you know what I mean, and she still finds time to box. And I don't just mean she's one of these people who turns up and fights or, or trains once a week. She, she dedicates herself to doing it, you know what I mean? Uh, fair play to her. Uh, let's see where she can go. She's on the showdown, the next showdown show. She's looking to be the first female showdown promotion champion. Uh, I think she will because uh, she's got a good team behind her. and uh, she, She's got the, the mental ability to do it. This is the main thing, and uh, the, the Birmingham Boxing Column wishes her all the best, and uh, thanks for telling us her story. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. Yo. Tell me